Welcome, everyone. Um, today's topic is going to be repairing a frozen screen. And what we're going to explore is what is a frozen screen? What causes a frozen screen to happen? How can you troubleshoot and prevent it from happening? So let's start with what is a frozen screen? A frozen screen refers to a situation where the display on an electronic device, such as a computer, smartphone, tablet, or TV, becomes unresponsive and stops updating or responding to user inputs. When a screen is frozen, you may see the last image display before the freeze occurred. And the frozen screen typically does not change. Even if you try to interact with the device using a keyboard, mouse, touchscreen, or any other input method. And why does they ha this happen? What causes a frozen screen to happen? A frozen screen can be caused by various factors, including software glitches, conflicts, or issues with the operating system, application crashes, hardware problems, or insufficient system resources. In some cases, overheating or running resource-intensive tasks can lead to a frozen screen as well. How can you troubleshoot and prevent this from happening? So if your screen is frozen, there are some quick tricks that you can try in order to troubleshoot it. First, you can try pressing the escape key twice. Um, you can also try simu simultaneously holding down the control and the alternate um, and delete keys at the same time. And a menu should come up with an option to open the task manager. And you can then choose to end task. And this is going to help you uh, get out of that frozen screen. So if using task manager doesn't resolve the problem, then try pressing uh, these three keys, the control, the ALT, and the delete key again, and click on the power icon in the bottom corner of the screen, and then restart. If you're unable to open the menu with those three keys, then you'll have to do a hard restart with the computer's power button. And if you're wondering how these keys look like on your keyboard, you have a little picture here on the side. Uh, you can look for them right now on your keyboard. Um, you should be able to find them. Uh, some other options. You can restart the frozen computer. Um, the first and easiest option is to try restarting your frozen computer. On a Windows device, press the control the ALT and the delete button simultaneously to open a task manager and then select restart. On a Mac, this can be done by pressing command, option, and escape. If your Windows computer is completely frozen um, and those three keys that you already pressed are not working, then just perform a hard reset by holding down the power button until the computer shuts down and just wait a few seconds before turning the computer back on. Uh, second, you can check for updates. If your computer is running slowly or the screen is freezing frequently, it could be the result of outdated software or uninstalled updates. So just go to settings on your computer and install any available updates, and then just restore the computer.
Um, third, you can, scan, you can scan for malware and viruses. Another potential cause of frozen computers is the presence of malware or viruses. So running scan on your computer to check for any infections that may be causing the issue. And both Mac and Windows computers have a scan options within their security settings. Or you can also use a free tool such as Malwarebytes. Uh, you can also uninstall unused programs. If your computer is freezing frequently, it could be due to a lack of available storage space. So one way to relieve pressure on your device is to uninstall any programs that you don't use. And to do this, you can go to the control panel on your computer and look for programs and features on Windows or applications on Mac. And you can clear cache or you can or in temporary files. Cache and temporary files are accumulate over time and take up valuable space on your computer. Like on used programs, clearing these files can improve your device speed and reduce the likelihood of a, of a frozen computer screen. And this step is particularly important if your device crashes when web pages become frozen or unresponsive. So if your iPhone screen is frozen, first you can press and quickly release the volume, the volume up button and then press and quickly release the volume down button. You can also press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. And if your phone doesn't turn on, just follow the steps to check your hardware and charge your phone. You might need to charge up to an hour. And if your phone still doesn't turn on, just contact Apple support. Uh, we also have some resources to explore. Um, you can see a few links here on how to fix a frozen computer um, for iPhones and for uh, other computers. And thank you so much for listening. If you would like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to the cyberseniors.org website or call the number on screen to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. Mm -hmm.